Hi, Wonder Wives. Welcome back for day 28 of the Wonder Wife Workshop. You guys are doing amazing. You've made it this far in the class. We are almost at the end of the program and stick with it till the end. And hopefully you'll see some major changes in your relationships with your spouses. So awesome, awesome job for making it to this point. Today, I want to just wrap up our discussion on relationship with in-laws. So if there was one key point that I had to make that I find is most important in our relationship with our in-laws, it is that we should not involve our husbands in our own negative feelings towards his side of the family. And the same rule applies to him. He should not involve us in whatever negative feelings he may have towards our side of the family. So it could be that your husband complains about his side of the family all the time. Maybe he like is constantly irritated by his own mother or sister or brother or whoever may be. It's his family. So if he wants to complain about it, that is his right. But for us to complain to our husbands about his relatives is a big no-no and is setting yourself up for disaster. <laughs> so you may think that, oh, maybe it's really a way for us to have camaraderie between the two of us. We can both together complain about his mother. Well, on some level that may be, you know, bringing you closer together, but ultimately it will end up making your husband feel as though he's being torn between the two of you because his mother will always be his mother. And there will be a part of him that will always be loyal to her, just like he feels about his siblings or anybody else in his family. And it's really you trying to put yourself in between the two of them. So if you have negative feelings towards any member of your husband's family, it's best to get it out of your system some other way, whether it be journaling, talking to God about it, talking to a therapist about it, whatever it is that you need to do to get that out of your system, do not make your husband your therapist. Okay, that's the first important point. The second important point is that throughout all of your relationships with your side of the family, his side of the family, other people you encounter, it's key that as a couple, you're constantly working towards creating a sense of we-ness, that the two of you are now a joint team battling all forces, right? So through that, the two of you as a couple are creating your own set of family traditions, your own set of what it is that you plan to do for, you know, travels for the holidays, right? So it could be you grew up with certain traditions. It could be he grew up with certain traditions. And those two things could be really different from one another. But now you are a new entity as a married couple where you have the right to say, we don't have to do what our parents always told us we had to do in terms of traditions. Maybe there's something that we want to develop together that works for us. And so even though I said not to involve your spouse in your drama with maybe, you know, his mother or his sister or who have you, it is important to have a sense of bonding and open communication between the two of you in terms of setting up boundaries and a system that works for your family. So for example, let's say I, I gave an example the other day where like a mother-in-law was calling all the time and it was starting to get like, you know, very overbearing um, for the daughter-in-law to feel like she has to constantly be answering the phone and reporting everything to her mother-in-law. So she could sit down with her husband and say, instead of saying, oh, your mom is such a nag and this and that, right? So once again, that is a big no-no and is inappropriate and you will not benefit from it. But rather to speak with your husband and say, you know, I was wondering if maybe we can brainstorm together a system that would work well in terms of communication times for both sides of our family. So when do, what do you think? Maybe we can have a time like once a week before Shabbos where we call your mother and your father and then we call my mother and my father and we call the grandparents. Maybe we can set up another kind of time. Let's come up with a system for how often we want to visit my side of the family. We want to visit your side of the family. How often do we want to go away for Shabbos? How often do we want to have guests visit us for Shabbos? So coming up together as a team to make a plan that works for both of you in your couplehood, for your family. Once again, always approaching it with a sense of we-ness, not me against you, or, but rather us together figuring out what works best for us. So that's the end of our in-law discussion. Tomorrow we're going to move on to a new topic, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for listening.